a big welcome to you, my dear Leo. So the sun and the new moon is in your sign. That means the earth has made its journey or continued its journey. And now we see behind both the sun and the new moon, the constellation Leo. Now Leo is calling you. Leo is calling the king of wands. He is letting him know you are strong. You are both in the light and in the dark and you can do it whatever it is that you can do it do it with your heart and so this is what's talking today on your new moon to you and i hope you are going to do a ceremony on the new moon i do not do the readings ahead because it doesn't make sense. I do them really on the day the sun and the new moon is in your sign so that I get the energy so that I can transmit that to you. Important is that you start to recognize yourself when is your new moon and when is your full moon so that you know when to do a ceremony. And today the ceremony is about planting a seed, a new seed that is going to help you to come into your heart, to come into your full strength, to come into that power that lies in uniting the opposite of energies. And so here ruled by the sun and the fifth house of joy and having fun, I hope you are really embedding that in your heart and you are going to live that. If your birthday is between July 13 and August 12, then this is your court card. If not, look in the description. I have listed them all below there. Now, today we are going to go into the left spinning path because I'm still learning and I realize the new moon is going back to yourself. There is no opposite sign giving you the light for the new moon because the new moon is invisible. So the sun and new moon, both in your sign, you have arrived at home and that's the soul that's deep within you. You know you're back in the dark. I read that from right to left. And so after this reading, I will read outward and help you to see for the next six months what the biggest themes are going to be for each month to your full moon. So now I read to the left and we're going to go deep within and I hope you are going on this journey with me. Reconnecting back to the last reading where you had Cancer Sun giving Leo Moon the light. You have arrived because your next reading, Sun and New Moon, is in Leo. So you see you did get actually the Strength card. Now when I show you this card, it's not because I pulled it. It's because I just want you to see that this is your energy, right? I didn't pull that card. But here, obviously, the card came up and the sun came up and this beautiful portal here. So already Cancer has told you, hey, you are in the next month having sun and new moon in Leo. And so I hope you have done the work yourself. The yoga position for Leo is Simhasana, so we stick the tongue out and we allow to totally let go and be this brave energy that is saying, I am the one that is in the center of the infinite aid, of that infinite potential that is created between the opposites. So we start the reading. And I will do this reading now to the left. And today there is no opposite sign here. This is just about you. I have the first four major arcana and the last four major arcana of the 22 major arcana. And in between, I have 
three cards for you and so this is just for you but I read it to the left to you to your soul to back to you good so let's begin on the position of the fool you got the ace of sword so you have a thought you have a clear thought coming to you that is saying well if you do things right a bon droit then good and right things will come to you and so here you are calling your soul because she's facing left and it's beautiful because i recognize that you are ready to be the leader you are ready to be the one right that has the heart to do now what it needs to be done in your mind so that you can plant a seed and this seed is today on the position of the magician which is your inspiration connected with the mystical shaman the mystical shaman has this clear thought and he knows exactly what he has to do and so here the 38 the three the empress and the eight your card the strength that connection that you are ready to really be yourself the way you are right no more excuses and then of course when we add the one of the magician we get a 39 and that creates a 12 but right now this 38 calculated together creates an 11 so it's like a 111 portal and a one here right you see how i can change the way i calculate these cards together so here you are either you have a one 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 moment right and four times a one moment and in that four times one moment you see a stability a portal that is helping you to go deeper within through the four elements because he has all four elements always working for him right that's the position of uh, the magician right he has the four elements and he's the fifth element so as you can see we can also calculate then the one here with the 38 and then a 39 creates a 12 and 12 creates a 3 there is then the empress left and the empress is giving birth to all creation then on the position of the high priestess right we go deeper in to your intuition because she is all about intuition you get the knight of cups the lord of waves and water and that's a pisces and we're on the age of pisces currently going into the age of aquarius and i explained it again and again it is the moment where you realize that the earth is not only spinning to the right in 24 hours and we get the days of the year right and this is a wobble that goes to the left and that wobble lasts 25,800 years and we divide it through the 12 zodiac signs and we get an age of 2150 years now we are going currently from the age of Pisces into the age of Aquarius which is opposite of you which is what gives you the light in the next full moon and so this is the age that is going to be in, in the next 2150 years leading us forward but guess what you are the leo to the age of aquarius you are the wild side to the age of aquarius and so here the age of pisces which was in the light the last 2150 years right is giving you all the information because the high priestess knows such things right she studies these things and so you getting an emotional connection because the shaman is looking at him and he is also going to the left to the soul so here he is the 12th zodiac sign plus the two is the 14 14 is temperance connecting to sagittarius but calculated together you get the five right you will realize here that this is a test always 
you are tested to see how much are you connected with the high priestess are you trusting your intuition and i think you are because these are the deep waters these are the deep emotions that are now here talking to you then on the position of the empress you get the world look at that and the world is bringing you taurus leo scorpio and Aquarius and you see now they're opposite of each other the same way Taurus and Scorpio are opposite of each other and so the 21 right the high priestess and the magician create the Empress the three so you have a three three portal here and you are then creating whatever it is that you want to create in this world and you empower yourself today because you have sun and new moon in your sign and it's a sign that you are here in this state of consciousness right the first four cards are state of consciousness and so you know that the fool is bringing you a very clear thought a very clear information so that the mystical shaman deep within you knows what to do and that's the inspiration, right? He gets the ins inspiration from this one clear thought. And then he is seeing that he needs to move on. And he moves on a horse. He's becoming a knight. He's becoming the age of Pisces that is moving into the world. And the world is facing the right spinning path but she is looking into the soul. She knows that the zero and she is the one. The one person that can create new things. And this is the language of the uh, computer, right? The zero and the one. And the programming language. And so she is looking into the soul, but she is facing the Knight of Cups. She's facing the age of Pisces. And knowing that the soul is letting her know what is going on in the world and so here the empress and the world 3-3 portal is letting you know hey everything is there for a reason because there is a three in the mystical shaman as well then on the position of strength comes here the ten of air and the ten of air is letting you know that here, the new moon is bringing you ten swords. And ten of swords is sun and Gemini. Is a lot of thinking. But you have that one thought, remember? And so, eleven swords are here to recognize, to make you recognize that you need to focus on this thought. All these thoughts, not really because they are giving you a tough time and you see how she is looking up she is facing the left spinning so this is a soul energy here that is speaking to you and that the lion is calling you saying to you well you gotta be in your heart to overcome these thoughts and this is the dark night of the soul. And this is what the new moon is all about. Because this is the position of Leo in the new moon. Right? And so in the new moon you are facing the dark side of the soul. And the ten means that you are able to succeed. You are able to come out. Because you also have that one sword. You have that one thought. And that will help you to overcome all these thoughts and the dark night of the soul so you are here to recognize that you can do it you can overcome that then on the position of the king of fire comes the ten of fire now this is very interesting because this is saturn in sagittarius and you don't have another um want here except your own so you see what's happening you have 11 wands so these 10 actions counterbalance the 10 thoughts that are giving you a hard time 
and you have the wand and here is that one sword and so here's an 11 11 portal you see this it's crazy so 11 11 and you already had with the fool and the mystical shaman right you had there a one 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 now you have again 11 11 i mean it's crazy and so the one the one and only is calling you and who is or what is that one and only your heart right so take care of your heart take care of what it is that you need to do and you see she is facing her and she's facing the human path and she's saying well see the actions that will help you to overcome all these thoughts and you will see it works right and so here you are being called to really be in the one and only energy and that is your heart then on the position of again Leo but now on the position of the Sun in Leo you get here the messenger of water and who is that the Knight of Cups again so the Knight of Cups is facing right and left and so you get help from both sides and that's so beautiful because it gives you an understanding that you are really protected and that this 11 uh, portal right with you these 11 ones is helping you to understand that the 8 and the 12 calculated together is a 20 is the 2 is the high priestess is again of course the knight of cups and the knight of cups is literally saying yes here you understand that you are protected and you see you get the seahorse giving you the strength to be really you now right and the two is again the duality to cut through duality to cut through everything that is difficult in this world then on the position of the moon which is now of course the new moon we get the dream oracle and so here you get the drifter the experience life as it comes and you see the sailing boat here and that is the moment where you are using the new moon as that portal and that is using the new moon as that moment of yes i can let go i have a 14 here and the 14 we had right on the position of the high priestess we had a 14 with her she's the intuition so drift into the intuition the five and the 18 is the nine that creates again a 14 and the 14 the five is left so the five senses recognize that when you drift through this dark new moon where you can plant a seed allow yourself to intuitive know where it's going know that the experience that you have here is that life brings you all the difficulties so that you can overcome them and become strong on the position then of the sun which is in your sign as well right comes now the lake the deep deep lake so even the sun is letting you know you gotta dive down you gotta go deep down into the 31 and the three the empress the one the magician right here you find the magic deep drifting into that moment where you recognize the sun the 19 which is a 10 the one the magician and the nine of the hermit deep within you know you find the answers and that creates a 14 again so you have a 14 14 portal a 5 5 right here you have a 5 3 times 5 right know that the five are the five senses and through the five senses you will always know where to go 
because it's the five senses that we need in this dimension, but also we need the five senses to go deep within and be with the soul. And so here you are recognizing that you are learning deep within to trust through the sun and the moon. Now, on the position of the moon, we had the Ten of Swords, right? And so know that you can overcome this difficult time. And on the position of the sun, we had the messenger of water. Know that he guides you down here. He will come to you and he will teach you how to dive deep down into the waters because you're not really a water person, right? You are fire. So go deep into the emotions because you had the night of fire twice. Go deep into your emotions and see that you have the castle, that you are the king and that you are able to do this no matter what is coming and surfacing because your heart will lead you, will guide you. And then on the position of the last judgment comes here the leaf shade. Leaf shade, the cradles, the number 48. This is the Lifruma healing oracle. And the call is that I will show you this card, the 48. You can stop the video. I'm going to put this down for a moment as well. You can stop the video and read this because it's really important that you are taking in the words. I'm going to read it to you too, but you can make it a little bigger, the video, and read it yourself. Cradled Neath the comforting branches of trees stretching, providing peace, shelter, wisdom, and direction. Contemplate the rate at which a tree breathes and lives. Join its calming pace by allowing nature's healing to kiss us all deep inside. Healing herbs and tinctures are shared with us by plant spirits wisping on a sultry breeze under their sacred shaded foliage. Wow. So the call is to go deep within the four and the eight creates a 12, which is a three. And the two of the 20 is again, then a five. So four times five, you recognize, right, that the five senses are going to lead you, right? One more time here we have the five. And we had here the five. And here the five. Four times five is the heart, and four times five is literally saying you gotta connect with the trees, you gotta connect with nature, and through nature you get the biggest healing boost, no matter where, if it's the water that is calling you, right? Because the water is also very much healing, and you see she is connected with the castle. She is like a queen. She is like a king, right? And so you are learning to really dive deep, but also here through the leaves, through the trees, you are getting that boost and you getting the call connect with the trees because then on the position of the world, you're getting the 11, you're getting Libra, the splitting of all the old, like here the splitting of the earth, that is the number 21, right? And you had the world, the earth, you had the 21 coming to you. And so the 11 and the 3, I don't calculate that together because the 11 is a portal again, right? And so I will calculate all the ones together. I think it's like 10 ones here, but recognize that the world is calling you to split the old and let go of the old and 
it's almost like this one thought is splitting you apart because it's Libra and Libra is a sword as well and so the mystical shaman knows exactly how to split himself apart how to cut that old sheet open so that a new you can be born and that you liberate yourself in this split of sun and new moon in your sign and you like a seed will break through right will come out of the old and grow into the full moon and come out as a new person and it's like big healing big recognizing of the seeds that you plant deep within you and you have four times the five right four is the heart you know that the heart needs the five senses the fifth sense which is then here which is libra right which is communication which is justice so here you are recognizing that the call is about again the five senses and that the five senses are calling you and if i calculate this together this is a three and the 11 is a two it's a it's a one one right it's a it's, it's it would be a two would be a five as well so you have five times the five and it's literally saying use your five senses to create a new you on this day of sun and new moon in your sign wow what a message right remember that one clear thought can hold and stop all these 10 thoughts that you sometimes have in your head so i hope i see you in the next reading because then the earth spins and continues its path and we see behind the sun the constellation virgo Virgo didn't come up as a number. Nevertheless, right, you know that Virgo is here through the tree, through that leaf shade that you have deep within you the power to be a tree, the power to be empowered. And so I wish you a beautiful new moon celebration. And thank you so much for being with me. Namaste.